Good morning. Okay, so I know I have been showing y'all super, super quick snippets of some things, but this morning, I think I'm going to show y'all really quick um, my everyday simple mom face. This is definitely the look that I do every day during the week. Um, on the weekends, if I'm going somewhere, um, you know, I might do something a little nicer or add a little more. But I did prime my face. Prime, prime, prime your face. It is super, super important. Priming is going to help fill in your fine lines and wrinkles. It helps shrink your pores. It's just leaving that smooth, smooth foundation for your make, um, your smooth canvas for your foundation to sit on your face really nicely. So this morning I'm going to use Unique's spray foundation. It is brand new. It just came out in O. Oh, my Lanta, it is life. It is amazing. It is literally Photoshop in a bottle. You'll never have to use a filter again. And of course, pair it with the amazing Kabuki brush. These two items right here are like best friends that will never be separated. So I just do quick sprays onto my brush. And this is mineral based, so make sure you shake it up really, really, really good before you use it. So I just do a few little quick sprays, and those were fast sprays. Um, if you do long sprays, you really only probably need about maybe one and a half, maybe three total long sprays for your entire face. It does not take a lot at all, but it is a very buildable foundation. So I recommend to start off with just a little bit. And then if you see some areas on your face where you feel you need a little more coverage just add a little more coverage um i kind of buff it around um if you want a more full coverage look then stipple it just pat it like this in your face and that will give it a more um full coverage look but when i go to work i really don't need to be like totally fancy and full coverage and all of that so but do you see the difference already look it's like amazing i'm serious everyone should needs this bottle in their life okay so i'm gonna just pat it on my face and remember you know you can either stipple it like this on your face all over or you just rub it in circular motions and i will apologize for the sniffles but this back and forth weather that we have here in good old southern Louisiana is um, kicking my butt with my allergies. It is so back and forth. It's cool, then it's warm, then it's cool, then it's warm. And then it storms and the rain and the wind just kind of stirs up everything in the air. So, yeah. So lucky me. But you know, here us moms, we still got to make every day happen, right? Moms don't get a break. We don't have sick days. We don't have days off. We are 24-7. Okay, so that's our stick, I'm um, sorry, our spray foundation. Now I'm going to take our pressed powder in the lightest color that we have. It's the color Scarlet. And I am going to highlight right here under my eyes just to help brighten up my face a little bit more. Make me look awake since it's 6 o'clock in the morning and I am still super tired. Did not want to get out of bed. Because, you know, last night was dancing night. So, you know, you come home from dancing and you got dinner and bath time and bedtime. And then by the time all of that's finished, now it's time to take care of mom. So mom's got to do bath and all that jazz. You know, we don't get to bed till 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So much fun. But then we wake up and you do this awesome quick mom face. And it helps you look alive and trick the people that you work with. Okay, so... When you highlight under your eyes, you always go in like a triangle shape because that helps make your face look um, a little brighter. It lifts it up. 
you never want to just highlight right under your eyes because that's going to accentuate your dark areas the circles whatever problems you have right there so always do the triangle look and when you highlight with pressed powder like that it is going to give you a little more coverage in that area also let it sit right there while you kind of doing a little more of your makeup and um it just kind of warms to your face and then you can see if you're going to need more or not in a few minutes. So now I am using Unique's Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. Um, and it does come with like a little net over it. There are times when I take the net off. If I need like more. If I'm like going to bake my face. But for now, I'm just brushing it all over my face to help set that foundation in place. And this is Unique's um, Powder Concealer Brush. It's amazing. It is so soft. It just helps spread your, um, your powder all over. And I do like the double side of it because you can use the smaller side to get to, you know, like the base of your nose and right under your eye. but it helps set your makeup in place it also helps blur fine lines as well okay i like to put a little extra around my nose and around my mouth now don't forget at any time um, if you have any questions, just drop me a comment below or I will have the email address posted in the description. You are more than welcome to send me emails and ask me any questions at all um, about any of the products that I use. I will be here for you. Um, I will also have my website in the link in the comments below or in the description below. So if, there, if you search you know all the different fun stuff on my website and you see something you know that you have questions about or you would like to see me do a demo of let me know I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys so now I'm going to take our brow pencil um, it's the pencil on one end and the spoolie on another end so I always brush my brows up before I get started and now I am going to outline my brows I'm going to tell you right now, before anybody starts judging, I am far from a brow pro. Every day my brows seem to take on a different shape. But that's okay because always remember your brows are not twins. They're sisters. So they can look similar, but they're probably never going to look identical. And seriously, if I wasn't sitting here chit-chatting and doing this video. Because you know when you're talking and you're doing your makeup and you keep stopping for a second, it takes a few seconds longer but really I could do this routine in about 10-15 minutes this is like my super quick mom face as I call it so really basically if you have brows already you're just following the shape of your brows I mean, I don't go and create anything new. I just follow already what's there of what my girl does when she waxes my brows. So really, basically, that's all you're doing. You're like outlining. And really, rule of thumb, 
if you do not have brows and you need to kind of add brows, they say take your pencil, put it on the side of your nose, and that is where your brow should start. Then stay on your nose and go through the pupil of your eye. That is where your arch should be. And then go to right here on the very edge of your eye, and that's where your brow should stop. So, you know, you see, like, I have these little spots right there where hair doesn't want to grow, so I could really extend that brow a little more. This brow over here just never cooperates for me on the tip, so I just usually leave it alone and let it be its own little individual creature. So then I take our brow palette. Now you can color in your brows if you want with the pencil. For me personally, I just find this little routine works best. So this is our brow obsession palette and it does come with two shades, a light and a dark shade that you can outline and fill with. And this is like, um, they call it like the pink eraser like you used to use in school. So like if you would mess up your brows, you can fix it with that. And it's like a highlight and that's your setting wax. So for this, when I outline with the brow pencil, I like to take the light color um, filler and I just fill in my brows with that. Oh, these sniffles, I do so apologize. And I do call this my super quick mom face because in the mornings, my little doodle bug starts tossing and turning. So I never know when she is going to wake up on me. So I like to try to get this done before she wakes up. But if not, it's still a very easy doable face if your little one is running around or having to sit on your lap and watch mommy do makeup like mine likes to do sometimes. I watch you, mommy. I make up too. Okay, baby, come on. Okay, so that's it. Quick, simple brows. So once that is done, oh, my other bronzer is Okay, so I'm going to use our beachfront bronzer and I'm just going to add a little warmth to my face. My favorite bronzer. Oh, it is out. What? Sorry, guys. I packed up my stuff the other day to go take and um, show my stuff, my products, and I didn't I haven't put everything back where it goes. All right, so. When you bronze, when you use a bronzer or kind of like contour your face, make that fish face. And your bronzer is going to go in that indention of your cheek. So it goes right under your cheekbone and you can feel it. And then you can kind of come up. So if you need that guide, make the little fish face. And there you go. So you add in a little warmth back to your face because whenever you put your foundation on, you kind of give your face that just one dimensional look. So then when you add your bronzer, you give it a little warmth and a little dimension back to your face. So then I'm going to take the bronzer and just kind of do a like quick little contour on my nose now I don't go like all full out and like crazy dark and deep contours but you know seriously guys I have seen some people that legit contour and like totally change the shape and design of their face it's pretty crazy to see um and really, I just used um, one of the Wet n Wild angled brushes for this. You don't have to use anything crazy and fancy. It's like 99 cents at Target. Like super quick and easy. Um, now I'm going to take Unique's blush. It's one of our pressed blushers. And this is the color Sisterly. And again, 
it is a wet and wild brush but I have different ones I have one for blush and one for the bronzer I don't mix some people do I don't so your blush goes right on your cheekbone so if you smile on the apples of your cheeks so your blush sits right on top of your bronzer it's like you're stacking it you know some people I read somewhere and it was so funny and it is true because they say you know the ice cream that's like the three flavors the chocolate the vanilla the strawberry well they say whenever you do your bronzer and your blush and your highlight to kind of think of that theory so like your bronzer is like your chocolate ice cream your blush is like your strawberry and then when I'm gonna luminize I'm gonna highlight my face your, it goes right above it so that's like your vanilla so it's the three different steps it's like oh well that's a cute way to think about it so so now my face part is done all of that is done and my super quick mom face no I don't do eyes because you know, like I said I just try to hurry up and um, get this done before she wakes up so I'm just taking a quick brush and I'm using that same pressed powder that I highlighted under my eyes with and I just give it a quick little pass over my eyes just to make them look clean and match the rest of my face. And then I like to set my face. So I use our setting spray. So yes, I did use our setting powder, but I also use our setting spray as well. So this is Unique's Touch Behold Setting Spray. And shake it really good. And then... I just generously spray it all over my face and yes I'm going to use a fan to help dry it a little faster because again mom life we don't have all that time to sit here and let it dry on its own so just like before I even start my face the face primer I put the face primer on then I get dressed that way the face primer can dry and do its thing because you want to let your primer sit for about five minutes before you start putting your makeup on okay so now that that is done um this is our powder luminizer and it's the color benevolent it's just like a very neutral color and i put that right above the cheekbone so right above your blush and it just kind of helps give your face that little glow so very easy very super simple mom face you don't always have to have this big elaborate routine you don't have to do the blush on the eyes it's not necessary you can just do this very simple neutral face and you'll good you'll be good to go so all of that is done so last step would be lashes and then lips and then we're, we're legit so this is unique's mood struck epic lash primer and it is amazing it will condition your lashes all throughout the day um, it's going to help separate your lashes and it's going to help give them a little more length I mean the mascara alone is amazing and legit by itself but then you add lash primer on before you put your mascara on and it's gonna totally bring your mascara to a whole nother level and it is white it will dry clear if you know you're worried about that I did touch my face but that's okay because it's white and it will be clear So whenever I'm putting stuff on my lashes, I always hold my mirror down here and I look down at my mirror. That way you kind of have a less chance of getting the mascara on your eyelids. Because if you hold your mirror up here and you look up, well then as you're putting it on, you're going to bend your lashes towards your eyelid and then you're going to get it on your eyelid. So now I'm going to use our Epic 4D. It is fiber infused mascara. So no, it's not a two step process. It's just one step and it's a different one. Um, there are longer sides and a shorter side. So what you really need to do with this mascara 
is you wiggle at the base and then you twist when you roll up. So you wiggle and twist. And I always seem to touch the inner corner of my eye for some reason. And no, I don't put eyeliner on because you will see in just a moment that this will kind of give you the look like you do have liner on. And the reason it is super important to twist this wand as you're applying the mascara is because of the two sides of the wand. Um, the two different sides are helping separate your lashes as well, but it's also helping to interlock the fibers onto your lashes. And yes, no matter what, I still just get mascara all over my eyes because in the mornings like this when I'm in a hurry and I'm trying to get my makeup done before she wakes up, yeah, I get it all over my lid. But don't touch it. Let it dry and then you can get it off really easy after. So, I mean, that's just one coat. Like, I seriously, seriously love this lash combo. Primer and Epic 4D will bring your lashes to just new lengths. Uh-oh, I hear my daughter. I usually like to put two coats on. It is a buildable mascara, so you can just keep putting it on and get whatever desired look you would like. But that's just one coat, and it will make your lashes just look gorgeous. I usually do take a little longer on my lashes because I just think it totally finishes your face. I love the way just good, full lashes look. That's just me. All right, guys, I'm kind of concentrating. Put my lash serum on last night before I went to bed. And I must not have wiped it off enough this morning when I cleaned my face. I feel like they're kind of sticking together a little bit this morning, which they normally never do that with this mascara. So it's kind of bugging me. Okay, so, I mean, really, hello, lashes. How are you? And then I really don't put the 4D on my bottom lashes. You can. I just, you know, don't need, like super extra long bottom lashes so i just take a regular epic mascara and i just put just a very light coat on the bottom you know just so the bottom doesn't feel left out like it has a little something so take a spoolie brush and wherever you got mascara on your eyes you can get it off very easy it just comes right off. So remember, when you get mascara on your face, never panic and hurry up and wipe it off because you're going to have a smeary, nasty mess. So just take a spoolie brush. And voila, there you go. So you see how it kind of gives you the look like you have eyeliner on, but you really don't. It's a trick. Okay, so... Obviously, this is like my favorite liner because it's um, almost gone. 
Um, but this is what I usually do every day because I don't feel like redoing my lips all throughout the day. Um, Unique's liners are smudge proof and waterproof. So usually I'll just color my lips with a liner. Super easy and it will last you all day. But if you are one that likes lipsticks and glosses and all that stuff, still color your lips with liners. And that way, if your lipstick, lip gloss, whatever wears off, you'll still have your liner on underneath. I'm sorry, I'm not one that can talk while I line my lips. I don't know how some people do that. I would look like the Joker if I tried to talk and do that. Okay, guys, so this is my simple, quick, and easy mom look very very easy very quick like I said if I wasn't sitting here talking this would literally take me max 15 minutes so quick recap face primer prime your face before you start super important I use spray foundation today and I did use our kabuki brush to apply it I did um, highlight under my eyes with our pressed powder in the color scarlet then I outlined my brows with our brow pencil and I filled them in with the Brow Obsession palette. I took our Unique Beachfront bronzer in the color Malibu to do a quick little contour. Then I used our blush in the color Sisterly. I set my face with our setting spray and I also set my face with our setting powder right after I did our foundation. Um, I used our powder luminizer to give a little shimmer to the face. Um, what else did we use? We used lash primer. Lash primer. I did 4D Epic Mascara on the top lashes and regular Epic Mascara on the bottom lashes. And then I finished the whole look off with our plush lip liner and I just colored my lips with it. And this is going to be my mom look for the day. So remember, if you're in a hurry and you just want to put a quick face on to make you feel good, um, y'all, this is really super quick and simple. And remember, if you're not sitting here chit-chatting and talking, you really can do this look in about 10-15 minutes. I promise promise you I do it all the time so if you enjoyed this and you liked all the tips and tricks I gave you please give me a thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it please subscribe to my channel um, and also hit that bell so you don't miss anything I would hate for you to miss any great tips and tricks and whoever and whatever might pull out my sleeve and show you guys so y'all have an absolutely fabulous day and I'll be seeing you guys later bye everybody